Right, our cruise ship industry is desperate to get back to business after more than two years being at a standstill. But there's frustration that no clear timeline has been given to open up our maritime borders. New Zealand's Cruise Association CEO Kevin O'Sullivan joins us. Good morning, Kevin. Thanks for being with us. Has the cruise industry opened worldwide? Uh, yes, it has. Around about um, oh, more than 80 countries are, uh, have, have opened to cruise. Um, and um, um, Australia yesterday welcomed the first cruise ship back into Sydney Harbour. The Pacific Explorer arrived um, to enormous fanfare and a great deal of celebration from the Australian cruise industry. Right. So um, when have you been told or what have you been told about when they'll be welcome here? Um, very little. We've been um, in um, discussions with government agencies since December last year, um, and we worked through all the necessary protocols that you would expect. Um, I understand that a decision has been made by government ministers, um, but we need an announcement. We need it announced really, really soon, because um, without that announcement, that formal announcement from government, um, we're finding that uh, cruise ships are unable to be confirmed um, and we're lo already losing um, more than 180 port bookings um, because of a lack of clarity. And you're um, off to uh, a meeting this week in which the cruise industry is discussing whether you know, it is open around the world. What are you going to say about what the situation is in New Zealand? Yeah, well, I'm on a, it's, the, um, it's the largest cruise conference and exhibition in the world. It's on in Miami uh, beginning next week. Uh, I'm heading away there um, at the end of this week. Uh, I'm on a panel, and the panel has got um, colleague, my colleagues from Australasia, but also um, from other parts of the world as well. And um, we'll all be discussing how we're going to how we're working, um, how it's going to start, how it's working in the rest of the world. So poor New Zealand, uh, namely me, will be standing up, um, I hope not to, but um, standing up with a great deal of embarrassment in saying, look, we're not open yet and we don't know when. So I really need government to make an announcement. Do it now, do it today, you know, stop, um, so stop messing around. What is your deadline? You, you leave this week. What is your deadline to avoid embarrassment? <laughs> Um, my deadline, I guess, is probably um, immediately, really, because I'm I'm already writing notes and uh, and putting them into um, uh, to the panel. After all, um, so I really need it this week. I mean, we're already on Tuesday. Uh, I'm leaving on Thursday. Yeah, please, 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 government, let us know. Give us a date. And what does this cost us? Because I imagine you need to know by a certain time so that you can start planning the summer arrivals. At what point are you having to cancel for next summer? The, um, the close-off date really is around about four months out. Uh, but cruise lines have already cancelled. We've already lost um, cancellations during our winter cruise season, and we've lost some of the um, uh, some of the port calls over the summer season as well because of that lack of clarity. So they need at least a good four months, ideally more, um, be for, for planning. And it's not just the cruise lines. Um, there's all the regional operators around New Zealand who are desperate for cruise to come mm. back. Uh, there's cruise passengers. They want a book. Uh, they want to know, are we sailing around New Zealand or aren't we? Well, is there demand? Somewhere? Because I, you know, COVID, I, I wonder whether that has impacted demand from your passengers who I would presume are mostly around, say, 50s, 60s, you know, more in the middle ages, I guess, of life. Um, have they been put off by cruising on co with COVID? No, no, not at all. Uh, world demand is huge and increasing. Um, once a date was given for Australia, um, then, the, then there's a great deal of demand generated there and, um, and bookings are enormous. And are and we people... going to miss out on that? Are we going to miss out on demand if we well, say well, delay well, for well, another month before we announce opening? Yeah, people will book elsewhere. Cruisers want to cruise. And if they can't cruise around New Zealand, they'll cruise elsewhere. New Zealand's we, Cruise we, Association we, 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 CEO, uh, Kevin O'Sullivan. Kevin, thanks very much for being with us this morning and best of luck.